Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Fusion. Last time, the SAX and other X activity has caused the destruction of most of the data rooms in the game, so we have to go to Sector 6. This must be HQ. I wonder what that's all about. Well, whatever, we're headed to Sector 6. I wonder what's taking, uh... I wonder what's taking Adam so long to repair the elevator. In any case, uh, Sector 6 has some pretty dangerous enemies, and it has some environmental uh, issues with it as well. Finally, Virius Suit. Yeah, there are blue X all over sectors 5 and 6. Uh, and if you absorb one, uh, you will take, I believe, 72 points of damage. So you'll definitely want to use this save room before you begin. It's very easy to die. And the enemies themselves around here do a lot of damage. But you're going to be getting uh, Boria suit soon, which will increase your defensive capabilities. Uh... Oh, those are super attack. If you're wondering why there are so many screw attack blocks everywhere, you'll see. I think there's a bomb block around here. Yep, bomb block. Should be an energy tank around here. Yep, through here. There we go, that's the one I was looking for, the one up top. Uh, energy is very much at a premium in Sector 6. Uh, thankfully, there are two energy tanks uh, on the way. So all that extra health will help. You're going to want to fire your beam a whole bunch at random, because you can just run into blue X, and I expect to get hit by at least one blue X. Uh, don't head into any of those, uh, either of those two side rooms yet. Uh, because there's just a mess of blue X there. Yeah, I told you, blue X hurt. Ow! Uh, even after you stun them, you still can't touch them, otherwise you'll absorb them. Now, if you need health, this room is actually a good place to recharge, because there are a bunch of enemies that are just sitting ducks. Uh, you shouldn't have to, though, because there's another energy tank coming up very shortly. And it's pretty much in plain sight. Yep, right up here. That energy tank is actually kind of difficult to avoid if you're playing 1%. Okay. Now be very careful in this room. Once you get underneath here, 
you can watch the SAX go all the way up to the end, but notice those power bomb blocks. Uh, the SAX is going to drop a power bomb, and well, you'll see. Yeah, that scared me my first time through the game. Now, before you go any farther down here, uh, wait until uh, you can't hear the SAX's footsteps tapping anymore, because it's very easy to get caught here and just die. If you do get caught by the SAX, there are there are a few places you can escape, but it's not always easy to find them. They're kind enough to put a save point right before and right after uh, the encounter. Did I miss an expansion? I don't know if I did. I think it's in the corner, but you have to expose an SA... Yeah, not an SAX. You have to expose, uh... Yeah. You have to expose a blue X to get, uh, to get at it. I really wish I had power bombs to take care of these guys, but we're not going to be getting power bombs for a while. I think I'm going to just take care of this guy with a bomb. Yep. Excellent. 135 missiles, that's what we want before the next boss fight. There was no way I was getting around those acts. I should be okay. This next boss fight is a piece of cake. One of the easiest bosses in the game. I think this boss fight coming up is actually easier than Arachnus. Now that we have super missiles, the Eidors just take one missile. Well, that's the last data room that we have access to now. But how did that X download the Varia suit data? The charge beam shots will pierce, uh, will pierce the little shield surrounding the giant Korax. Because that's what this boss is called. It's simply called the Giant Corex. Don't even try using missiles, because they'll just bounce off. If you're not using missiles, uh... Or if, you're, or if you're not doing 1%, then pseudo-screw attack is actually pretty nice for this fight. Uh, if you're not familiar with pseudo-screw attack... Uh, what it is, is if you charge your beam... If you charge your beam and then jump, uh, you will have properties of the screw attack until you hit uh, an enemy with it. Aw, no doubles. There we go. Alright, now we have the Varia suit back, so we can go to Sector 5. And there's some areas we can go to in Sector 3 now, but I'm not going to head back there until the story directs me to. Now that we have Varia Suit, we can also absorb Blue X, and they are great for health, because uh, Blue X now give 30 health apiece. Take that, you stupid Blue X. Now be careful, because there's some crumble next to this, uh, 
missile expansion. I'm just looking for it. There it is, yeah. You'll also want to hold left here because there is uh, a morph ball tunnel here and a hidden missile expansion in the ceiling somewhere. There it is. Now we just gotta get out of here. Which should be pretty simple, because I believe there's a long shaft over here. And now as soon as... As soon as you grab them in that first room, now the... Uh, blue X will start to flee, which is pretty funny. Uh, puffers you cannot kill with your beam. And they're one of, th and because of that, they are one of the most annoying enemies in the game. And that takes us back to this room. And I think we want to go, yeah, up and back. Yeah, there's one expansion I can get back up in that first shaft. And that's not the correct direction. You know, maybe I'm not giving myself enough credit. Because uh, I haven't died yet. And this is a difficult game. Maybe I am improving at Metroid, and I'm just not giving myself any credit for it. Now, over on the right here, this first passage up here, uh, where we couldn't pass because of all the blue X before, uh, there's a missile expansion at the end of this tunnel. But not this one. This missile is fake. And there's pretty much no way to tell it apart from uh, a normal missile. Uh, also, if you also a nice little speedrunning trick, uh, if you enter the morph ball tunnel on the perfect frame after dropping a power bomb, uh, you can get that missile expansion and get past that uh, bomb block before it uh, before it regenerates. But it's frame perfect. Stupid puffers. Well, that's everything we can get out of Sector 6 right now. Now that we have the various suit, we should be able to get into Sector 5. And do some stuff there. But I think we're going to save that for next video. I know this has been short, but nothing really went wrong, and I don't want to push my luck with another sector on this video. Or even, like, half a sector. But I think we're making good progress. I don't even know what I'm going to do after this, because this is going really fast. And Pokemon Coliseum is going to take a long time, because that's a long game. As ambient as Sector 6's music is, I think it's appropriate. That's a very interesting concept, being able to process data organically. You hear about it in sci-fi all the time. Well, of course. Yeah, you have to have Plasma Beam in order to damage the SAX. Well, I guess that would make sense with the Metroid vaccine and everything. And this is the origin of ice missiles from Metroid Prime 3. But it actually makes sense in this game. I'm not quite sure why there just is why there just wasn't ice beam to begin with in Metroid Prime 3. Uh, but in any case, I think that'll do it for this episode. Join us next time on Let's Play Metroid Fusion when we head to Sector 5. See you later.